Piece of shit. Alright, everyone. Welcome back. We're back from break. We're continuing on with this dungeon. With the cubes. I believe I have two in my inventory right now to use on further puzzles. Oh, is this is another cube in here. I guess that must be the pump activator up there. But how to reach it? Let's find out. Order to reach the pump control. Okay, how do I get a bridge down? Is there a pedestal or something I can use? Uh, that's where we just came from. Oh, I walked right by them. So that got, dropped that one, but now that one went up. That dropped. Oh, I think we're done. That's it. Don't yeah. Else. Quickly now. I, <laughs> that was the easiest solution ever. Just do left and then all the way right and skip the middle. Nice. Tutti Frutti. We all we discovered we discussed all this in the last week. No, I can't have a midlife crisis because I'm already at the middle of my life and my life is better now than it ever was. So it's it's technically impossible to have a midlife crisis. <laughs> you know what I mean? That idiot just killed himself. He went to the water. <laughs> Go right to the water. Nice. No yeah, complaints for me. He's a stupid idiot. There we go. What a dumb robot. He'll never get out of that water now. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, why is this room open? Wait a minute, that's weird. Why is this room already open? Hmm. Okay, I have one cube left. So this is draining the room now. And perhaps the final thing is under the water that I need to do? Possibly. Because I can't go through here. This is blocked. There's got to be another thing to do in the room before we, we uh, can get passed through it. Welcome back, 672. Oh, well, let's see. What did this drain for us? Is there a door or something over there? I guess we'll drop down and look. Here's a door. Okay, maybe this is where we're supposed to go. What? This one doesn't work? Why not? What the hell? I have an idea. I'll wait here and retrieve this cube once you find the last one. Good that sounds to me like a setup. <laughs> oh, wait. Is that where we came from? Wait a minute. This is new. Alright, maybe the final cube is through here. That could be. Yes, I did see Jasper during the break. He was relaxing, actually. <clears throat> Okay. So wait. What are they telling me to do? I'm confused. Wait, I went back. This isn't it. I was supposed to go higher up, I think. Did I go up here yet? Wait, what is... There's nothing here but a chest? Oh my god, a stupid chest. I say, oh, come on. You know those items were fake. Stop digging around. <laughs> Alright, well, that didn't do anything. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. I drained the water... But I'm not sure what draining the water did for us because this pedestal over here doesn't fucking work. Like, I have one cube left in my inventory. I don't know what it's called, though. What the hell are they called? There it is. A ruined lexicon. Is that what it's called? Might be. But the door here won't open. 
This is obviously where I'm supposed to go. Oh, wait. Now it worked. What the hell? It didn't work the first time. Now it worked. That was really weird. Okay. Traps abound. Trap city. Can't hit me here. There's the final cue. Okay. Got it. Jeez, enough traps. Poison and shooting everywhere. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, water. Cut. Still all right. Now this is weird. Is uh, quest here? Quest? Why are there multiple quest icons? I'm confused. There's not another quest selected, is there? No. Restore the steam supply to the Dwemer reading room. Why? Where is he? Is he coming over here? Here he comes. He was in the water. He's stuck. It was easier than I expected. I'm glad you were here to do all the hard work. With the cube by the tree from the pumpkin pedestal, we should now have five cubes. This, is exactly what we need. this room doesn't open, huh? <clears throat> so we gotta go back. What's Jasper's favorite type of cat food? He eats two things primarily. His main food is a very high protein mixed food, very low grain, a very high protein. Uh, and he prefers the salmon flavor. There's other kinds like chicken and beef, but he prefers the salmon flavor one. That's mostly salmon is the primary ingredient. And also, he eats wet treats. Like, for example, anything that's like a broth or a stew or a bisque that has fish in it, he loves those. He'll lick up all the broth and sometimes he'll eat the pieces of fish. But that's about it. If you try to give him another kind of dry food, he hates it. If you try to give him, like, chunky food like some cats have, he hates that, too. Alright, so we're grabbing all these. And he's got the fifth. Yeah. Here, I picked up this cube for you. Okay. Oh, wait. <laughs> I needed to do this. I needed to do all five in this room. My bad. Shout out to Capture of Jinzu, who took the dollar fifty and says the province of Jinzu was the fulcrum of the three kingdoms. At separate times, it was coveted and controlled by the Wu, the Shu, and the Wei. That sounds like the history of Chinese warfare or something, right? Thank you for the tip. Hello, Bla Guts. How you doing today? Welcome, Guts. Do I feel raw seafood or fresh salmon? Oh, do I feed him raw seafood or fresh salmon? So, interestingly enough, when we first got Jasper, all right, um, raw food for cats was starting to become a thing. Confused because don't I need to just start this one? But doesn't that mean mean I need to pull one that's gonna pull the water up? There we go. We did it. Aha! Oh shit. So when we first got Jasper, okay, we went to this store, that's a pet food store, you know, pet store, and this store specialized in raw foods for your pet, claiming that raw food for your pet is better than the, you know, anything dry or processed, and that in food in its natural form, 
will have less fillers and less things that, that will harm or, pet or be unhealthy for your pet's diet, yada, yada, yada. So we're like, all right, we want the best for Jasper. Let's give it a try. <clears throat> and at that time, we went there and they actually had samples available. Hold on. Oh, the chest stuff in here. They had samples available. Like, you didn't have to buy the raw food at first. They would actually give you a sample pack of different kinds. So we came home with a sample pack. I think it was raw, raw frozen chicken, like raw beef, and maybe even like a raw fish, okay? And we gave him all of them, and he would not eat a single one. Seriously, he just had no no taste for it. No, He just didn't want it. Um, we tried what they had said. They said try to integrate it into the food he likes at first and see if he'll eat. He wouldn't do it. Like, we would put it in his food. He ignored the piece that we put in there, and he would just eat all around everything. So he just did not care for the food at all. Um, wait, what are we doing? I guess we're going back now. I guess this was a reward, but now we're going back. Okay. Yeah, so he just didn't care. He was very being very picky about it. You would think a cat would like raw meat. He just didn't want it. Um, like I said, we've tried different ones. When we first got him, there was a food that I guess the rescue shelter had been feeding him and we tried that. He, he thought it was okay. We still have some of it, actually, if we ever want to have it again. Um, and there was, like, we tried the, the regular stuff. Like, what is it? Friskies or whatever? And it was alright, but it wasn't until we found this high-protein, basically low-to-no-grain food and tried that and he loves it and we have it went back. He absolutely loves this food. So there's no reason for us. Uh, there's absolutely no reason for us to go back to anything else. He just loves it and the stuff is healthy. Like, we went to his vet. We told the vet what we give him and they're like, that's actually a good one. The steam is blowing. Now, it should be as simple as... No? Do it. But it didn't. Oh, it did. Okay. At last. I hope it was worth it. Please, be my guest. You deserve the first look. Besides, it could be very dangerous. You know we're gonna get sucked in, so I better do the quick save. Epistolary acumen. What a name. Here we are, inside yet another one. Okay. No, I completely, I totally get that, yeah. Uh, Tutti Frutti says, it's totally important to not cheap out on cat food because the cheaper stuff is bad for your cat. Absolutely right. They have all those additives and fillers. You know what gets me? This is what really gets me. People who have pets, and they don't care about the diet of their pet. They want the pet to eat the shit they eat. So, you go to the pet store. I, I challenge you, you will have a laugh. Even if you don't have a pet, go into the cat aisle. Start looking at the food. You're going to see ones that are like, oh, with rice and cheese. It's like, wait, what? Cat food with rice and and cheese. Cats don't fucking eat rice and cheese. The cat doesn't eat risotto. Like, what is this? Why is that in the cat food? They'll do that. They'll put all the human ingredients in cat food because they want you to think that, like, your cat has to eat like you. It doesn't. And I actually read up on a few articles online stating when you have a pet like that, a cat or dog, that cat or dog does not want variety. That cat or dog has a certain food it likes and it just wants to eat that food forever. So once you find the healthy food your cat or dog likes, just literally give it that food forever and it'll be happy. But humans have this weird desire to have their pets eat like them. So they'll be like, oh, I don't want the, my cat or dog to just eat this one thing. I gotta give it variety. So one day I gotta give it the chicken flavor. The next day I give it the fish. Then I give it cheese. Then I give it this. Like, that's the worst thing you could do for your, your pet. Your pet just wants to have a staple diet that it likes that's healthy. It doesn't want to eat variety like a fucking human. So don't do that. Am I supposed to do something here? Hit a switch or something? Let's see. Goes here. That's where I'm supposed to go. But how do I get that to roll out? By hitting the switch. I thought so. No, I'm stuck! Well, it worked. Look. Nice. Chapter 2. 
Saul Martinez in the super chat saying, how old is your cat and what breed? We actually sadly don't know how old Jasper is, okay? Because we rescued him. When we rescued him, they assumed that he was between two and three years old and thought maybe around two and a half. Um, so if you do the math, you know, this is just, it's all an approximation. If we rescued him and he was two and a half, and that was, <clears throat> you know, I'm trying to think exactly when we got him. He could, right now, he could be between five and a half to six and a half or even seven, I guess. It all depends. And we don't know. We don't know his birthday. We barely know anything about him because he was a rescue. Um, and because of the rescue status, they didn't have any actual historical data of who he lived with beforehand or any met. Like, they didn't even know if he was going to have any medical issues. They said they had done a checkup and he didn't seem to have any. But that's, that's the thing with a rescue is you really don't know the full history of the animal and you just got to kind of accept that and hope for the best and take care of that animal as best you can, you know? Oh boy. Oh shit, that's the wrong spell. Oh god. Alright, time to lock down this lurker with hit stun. There's another enemy on the other side. There's actually multiple seekers in the room. But let me kill the lurker first. I think the lurker is the bigger threat. If I just strafe, the seekers can't really hit me. Okay. See? If I just strafe, the seeker whiffs over and over and can't hit me, so. There's a stupid clone when he's about to die, but it doesn't matter. Alright. Time to whoop that ass. There's his clone. Got him. Nice. The seekers don't drop any loot, which is bullshit. They should definitely drop them. Drop them. <laughs> drop some loot. Oh, I hear you, Tutti Fruity. He said, I think that it, I think it's very responsible of you that you got uh, Jasper for a shelter because there's so many people who are irresponsible with their pets and don't take care of them and just abandon them. And that's exactly what it was. Is he first of all, Jasper's front declawed. You know, I mean, we never would have done that to any cat that we would have uh, adopted. We think that's awful. It's like taking the fingers off of the creature. It's really messed up. This one's already done. So we would never do that to our pet. But this person, someone had already done it, you know? And that was one of the reasons why Jasper was at the shelter, because it was funny. When, you, when we were looking at all the cats there, we had said to the, the person who was helping us, we were like, why is he here? Because he looks perfectly healthy. And they said, oh, because he's front declawed and people don't want a declawed cat. They want a cat that could go outside and inside, and he has to always be an indoor cat forever because he has no claws. He can't defend himself. And I was like, wow, that's that's kind of messed up. A perfectly healthy cat, great personality, cute as hell, basically sitting here for months on end because no one wants him because someone took his claws off. Like, how how is it his fault, right? But that's the thing. People want flexibility in their pet. Oh, I don't want a, a pet that I have to always take care of indoors forever. I want an outdoor cat too, you know? It's kind of messed up. Actually, Tutti Fruity, I have no idea if declawing is legal in Washington or not. What we do know is that he's not from Washington. They had said that one of his medical records had said that he had been, like, inspected and transported out of another state for more close... I think I forget what it is. I have to go look at the paperwork. I haven't looked at it in years. But, yeah, I don't remember exactly the state he came from. But he, he had come from another state, so the declawing had happened somewhere else. Kill the Seeker. Seek this, you son of a bitch. He died. There's another one up there. Shit. It's not a Fanta Magica? It looked like one. That bullshit. It totally looked like a Fanta Magica. And it wasn't. It was a trap. Well, I missed completely. Let's just beat the shit out of Let's get stun locked. There we go. Did 
They just become a pile of robes. <laughs> now that there says, what mission are we on? This is... The Gardener of Men. That's what we're on right now. I say, it maybe Jasper... Those Vega claws from Street Fighter, no one will mess with him. Huh? <laughs> is there a possibility of doing the Lost Judgment DLC this coming weekend? I'm not in the mood for it. At this point, I am free to do it whenever I feel like. Because, uh, you know, we have such open availability. There's no games coming out right now. But I really just don't feel like doing the DLC right now. I think we'll do it eventually. Just not sure when. And I just don't want to do it right now. To be honest, I just don't really desire to play Lost Judgment at this time. Okay. Uh. Ow. So how do I get over there? I don't know. There's a staircase down, but it looks like it's going to take us into the goo. Right? Do I just have to walk in the goo? I guess so. What happened? I'm dead! You gotta be kidding me! What happened? What did you see? Different people have very different experiences when reading these books. That was complete bullshit. How was I supposed to know you couldn't do that? Well, I found myself in another That's a place. That's common <clears throat> experience, at least for those who remain coherent enough to report what they've seen. You were in Apocrypha. Or at least your it's like I wasn't supposed to know what that was yet, even though I've done the others. Here, of course. You should read the book again until you reach what appears to be the end. Then you will have fully understood the knowledge it contains. Wait, where is it? It's gone. Uh... So he wants me to read it again. <clears throat> what was it called? Was it this one, the Epista... Yeah, it was the Epistolary Acumen, right? I think that was the one. Do I seriously have to do the whole fucking thing again from the start? That's really gonna suck ass. I hope I can turbo through it and not have to fight again. Because if I have to do the whole thing from the start, that's gonna piss me off. It looks like I resumed from the chapter I was on. Why do I not have a spell equipped? What the hell? That was weird. Alright, you do get to resume from the chapter you were on. That's good. So what am I supposed to do? If I go down these stairs and I step in here, I die. There's a switch there, but I can't get to it. Uh. Oh, wait. Oh, there's a rotating... I didn't even notice this. There's a rotating bridge. So I have to take this rotating bridge across. I totally didn't notice this. Shout out to Nemesis1 for a whopping $25 tip. Thank you so much, Nemesis1, for the support today. Again, this is going to help me out tomorrow tremendously for my day off. He says, thank you for your down the rabbit hole commentary. Look forward to seeing more content like that in the future. Have a drink on me, but don't go too nuts. Uh, more than likely, this will pay for groceries tomorrow. No drinks, but thank you. Uh, that gets up to $82 in tips, which means with that... We are only $18 away from seeing a hat, whether it be a Viking hat or something else. up to you guys because you would vote on a poll if we hit $100 in tips. And it sure would be great if we could. Yesterday, we didn't hit that $100 goal at all on any of my streams. So it would be great if, uh, you know, if you guys are enjoying the Skyrim stuff, if you could support it in any way. Thank you to anyone who does. Now, I go all the way through here. Or I can go the other way, too. Let's see what's through here. That locks you out from other ways. See that? Where did he go? He disappeared. Weird. Creepy crawling motherfuckers. Yes, this is all one dungeon right now, uh, Hopping Rabbit. The whole Dwemer Ruins are now into this. It's all one continuous dungeon, basically. Can you 
Thanks out, Lurker. Thank God I got this sword. Seriously, if I didn't have this sword, I'd be in trouble. But this sword is kicking ass and taking names. You missed. I guess I should quick save. What sword is this? This is the Windshear sword. This is the one you find at the bow of a ship during one of the story-based missions of the game, I believe. And, uh, or one of the, it's actually one of the guild missions. The reason it's good is it has infinite stun. So even though it doesn't do a ton of damage, it infinitely staggers whatever enemy you're hitting. So that enemy cannot escape your attacks, nor can it hit you. So I'm fighting these giant bosses and enemies and stunning them infinitely. They can't do anything. It's ridiculously good. It's one of the best swords I think I've ever seen in a game like this. Quite frankly. Look. This guy cannot move. Look. Hit. Hit. Okay, he's just staggered endlessly. He can't get out. All this, all that can happen is his clone can hit me. Once I kill him, his clone goes away. So can you imagine if I didn't have this weapon? This would be tough as shit because this weapon makes it easy. I'll see you tonight, Kagome. It sounds good. See you from Mirror's Edge. Alright, I better heal myself. Tutti Frutti, we do not really have plans for tomorrow. We do have an appointment we have to attend in the afternoon. But outside of that, we don't really know what we're doing. Uh, we're gonna, I'm basically going to go grocery shopping in the morning while my wife gets ready. And then we're going to go to the appointment. And then after that, whatever. We'll probably have like a late lunch uh, out somewhere. And we have some shopping to do. We do have to get some stuff for Jasper this week. Some stuff around the house this week. But nothing super special or anything, no. Nothing too exciting. Alright, chapter four it is. Okay. Where are we now? All this junk. It is. It's full of junk. Generic ebony boots. Let's quick save again. So how would I get this to go down? Right? It doesn't look like it's another situation where... Hmm. Oh! <laughs> Standing right fucking next to it. Uh, seriously? That simple? Yeah. I'm not supposed to go down there. It's all scenery. This is what I'm supposed to do. This looks like the end. Alright. The epistolary acumen. Here it comes. What do I get for this? Exactly, Jose. It's a good thing my, my weapon doesn't need to charge up. It's just infinite swings. Well I don't need uh, done, a, a gem. Oh, look. Your journey towards enlightenment has finally led you here. <laughs> he talks so slow. It's funny. As I knew it would. Ugh, what do you want of me this time? <laughs> you have entered my realm. You have sought out the forbidden knowledge that only one other has attained. You are dragon. Like Mirak before you. Yeah, he's Dragonborn too. A seeker of knowledge and power. I say, oh, I didn't try the butler yet from the last dungeon. I didn't summon him, so I don't know what he's like. Oh, let's see here. I don't need your help. Tell me what you want, my lord, and I will bring it to you. Yes. The. Mm, your loyalty will be richly rewarded. Rich rewards sound good to me. The scar have withheld the secrets from me for many long years. The scar were those people in the town, right? For <clears throat> this knowledge to be added to my library. 
I'll talk to this call and bring you their secrets. I know you will. And then I will give you the knowledge that you It's Marlboro for Final Fantasy. I mean, he's basically a tentacle demon from the, from the other world. Other dimension. To use your power as Dragonborn to bend the world to your will. The second word, word of power learned of power is to bend the wills of mortals to your purpose. <laughs> Tyler, I'm glad to hear you're enjoying but the game. This play. is not enough. Mirak knows the final word of power. Without that, you cannot hope to surpass me. Send the Skull Shaman to me. He holds the secrets that will be mine. Bye bye. <laughs> Okay. Options again. What are our three options here? Your unrelenting force shout does more damage and it will may disintegrate your enemies. When your fire breath shout will kill an enemy, the fire worm emerges from their corpse to fight for 60 seconds. Your frost breath shout encases foes in ice. Ooh, I like that. Freezing an enemy in a case of ice. And we I think I've maxed the frost shout. All right, we're going to do that. Frost breath. Yes, we maxed it. So this is going to encase them in ice now when I shoot it. That's awesome. Hopefully it'll freeze all my enemies. All right, we did it. I wonder how many more of these black books there are because I think this is the fifth one we've done. So we've done a lot of them so far. Did you actually learn what you needed to know by reading that black book? I learned the second word of the Bend Will Shout. No wonder the Dwemer was so interested in that book. It was indeed one that Mirak used to advance his power as Dragonborn. But I assume there's some bad news. It would be unlike a mayor's mora to allow anyone to gain such knowledge without exacting a price. He wants the secrets of the skull in exchange for teaching me the third word. <sighs> what secrets could they have worth keeping from old mora? Sounds like a bargain to me. Hermaeus Mora learns some fascinating new ways to skin a hawker, and you become the second most powerful <laughs> dragonborn that ever lived. Wow. So I guess our next step of the quest is to convince the Skull to help, right? Seems like it. What the shit? Whoa! Dragon! Piece of an ice, but he moved anyway. This is a story boss, Quazulha. It's a story dragon. Take him out. He's talking. Whoa! Let's finish his ass. Look at this. Finish that dragon! Yeah! Come on, do it! Epic converter! Epic elimination! Oh! 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 <laughs> nice. More than one way to skin a dragon. Sanctified Imperial Bow. Alright, you guys, ass beat. That's what I'm talking about. Very nice. Good to have everyone not running off to that damn sacred stone. Suppose I have you. That's right, I destroyed all the sacred stones. Alright, cool. What oh, an achievement! The path of knowledge. Complete the path of knowledge. Oh. Okay. So. Wait, what was the path of knowledge? I was doing the gardener of men. 
I guess I inadvertently... Yeah. I must have inadvertently completed a completely different quest. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Damn, there's so many different missions to do here. It's crazy. Alright, so I leveled up, and... I'm just gonna go Magicka again. Um... Smithing. I don't think I have anything new I can unlock yet. Wait, Ebony. Oh, I can. I can unlock Ebony. Because then next I want to go for 90 to do Daedric. So let's do it. Or not. Because I could also up my damage. And I think upping the damage is more important right now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's max... Well, let's do 80% increased damage. I think that maxing that one-hand damage is more important right now. And then after that, I can work on the smithing. Okay. Alright, let us... I want to level my smithing, but I'm not aware of anyone in this DLC that can do that for us. So we might have to go back to Skyrim real quick. To do that, and then we'll come back. Okay. Alright guys, I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. That was epic, huh? An epic dragon attack. If you are enjoying the stream, please remember... Liking the stream helps tremendously. If you could give it a like, I would really appreciate that. Um, and thank you to anyone who does. We're at 90 likes right now. 100 is the goal that I have for my streams. Because I feel that gives a lot of engagement and will bring more people to the streams on YouTube. So thank you in advance to anyone who likes the stream and is having a good time. Um, of course, contributions are appreciated. Whether it be a membership, a super chat, a super sticker, a tip... Right now, tips would help a lot because tomorrow's my day off for the week and all your tips go straight towards all the stuff I'll be doing tomorrow. Um, we're at $82 in tips. If we hit 100 by the end of today's stream, we still have an, over an hour to do that. Uh, you get to pick a hat for me to wear. One of them is a big Viking hat in honor of Skyrim, but there's a few others like a pilot's hat and stuff like that. And I sure would like to hit that goal today if possible considering that yesterday I didn't hit it at all on any of my streams. It would help a lot today if we could do that, okay? Now, if you're watching this on demand on YouTube, remember... You can always like the video, leave a comment, or super thanks, which is a new thing on YouTube that you can do as a way of saying thank you for the content. And I would appreciate that if you could do that as well. Thank you all for supporting in any way. Got a lot of steel to shape. Training and smithing. It's an honorable crime. Here we go. I'll show you what I do. Damn, that was a lot of money. That was over twenty thousand gold gone. But as you can see, because I do it, I'm already up halfway to level 53. See that? Pretty good. And I, if I hit another level and I can afford it, I'll hit 90, and that means I could do the Daedric smithing. All right. No, I do not accept. I do not accept gift cards, but I would accept credits to either Xbox Live or our PlayStation Network to purchase future games to defray the cost of that. That would help a lot. Okay. All right, so let's go back to the DLC. It's getting expensive now, man, for these uh, blacksmith upgrades. Just four, 4K a pop. So I'm starting to run low on money finally for the first time in the playthrough. All right, so what do I want to do next? I kind of want to take a little break from that. I don't want to go to the Skull Village and talk to Storm. Instead... I want to do some of the other stuff available. And I think one of the things that opened up... Oh, we can return to Colbjorn Barrow. That's the excavation. And let's see how much further in that he got. And see if we can maybe unlock another part of it. Let's do that. Tutti Frutti, I will pass on the Olive Garden gift card. I do not want to eat at Olive Garden. Since I lived here, I went there once. It was fucking disgusting. <laughs> I'm never going back. And now you're back. What is it this time? Yeah. <laughs> Draugr again. I mean, we should have expected it, right? What else do you find in these damned crypts? But waves and waves of Draugr. At least six of the diggers are dead. The rest of them ran off, and I don't blame them. You've had some luck with these things before. Do you think you could? Go back in. See if anyone's still alive. 
All right, we're going back in. Someone just said Red Lobster is better. You want to know what's funny? We actually did go to Red Lobster once here too, and we both got sick. My wife and I both got sick eating there. We had, it was like supposed to be the spinach dip for appetizer with tortilla chips. It was absolutely disgusting with like a layer of grease on it. And if I remember correctly, I got some kind of shrimp and she got a different kind of shrimp and both of them were absolutely disgusting. Like hers, all she could taste was butter. She's like, I don't taste anything but butter at all. Oh, like, that's not good. So we ate there, and that night we go home, and both of us were vomiting profusely. I'm like, oh, red lobster. It's a way to keep off the weight, I guess, since you can't keep the food down. <laughs> oh, that's right. I don't have to worry about her, her, uh, damaging my followers anymore. I can infinitely just talk these spells around. It's fine. No one gets hurt. This is excellent. You know what I wonder though? I wonder if that also applies to my follower summons. Because one of the major problems is Go keeps summoning those Atronachs and I hit what hit it and then the Atronach tries to fight me. So I wonder if it won't it won't aggro the summons anymore. Hmm. Time to infinite stun this Draugr. Can I turn him into a block of ice? Yes! Oh, it's amazing! Yo, that is so sick! And now he can't move. Completely frozen. If I get a group of enemies with that, that'd be outstanding, dude. Why the hell does this guy have so much health? Imagine freezing a whole group of enemies. That'd be so cool. Oh, I hear a word wall. Okay, let's clear this out first. Anything else in this room? No. Looks like there's... Okay, I need to go up, but I can't go up. It's locked. What's over here? What the hell? Oh. He's dead. That was the miner. One of the miners, anyway. What the hell did you just say to me, boy? Take this. And some of this. How about that? Get some extra this. Oh, he's already dead. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> In these Death Lord tanks. Hello, T uh, TX Shooter. How you doing today, man? Good to see you. Welcome to Skybeam. Is there any reason that I should be in here? Oh. Get over on the other side. Look, he's running. This dude's running. Nice. <laughs> it's a gem trap, but it didn't activate. That was weird. Oh, there was a trap. Look, it missed. Looks like we have four switches to pull. Did that do anything? That never does anything. That opens it. Okay. Another dead miner. Morelli's letter to her mother. This is depressing. She's dead, man. Um, Amnesiac Aaron just did a $10 super chat saying my first DSP playthrough was Afro Samurai. Happy Monday. Enjoy your evening. Thank you, Amnesiac Aaron. Wow. I want to talk about the throwback. That was over a decade ago. Awesome. I'm glad that you enjoyed the videos. Thank you for the support. Thank you. Thank you. What do I think of Applebee's or Outback State House? Applebee's back in the day was all right. The last time I had them, I hated it. I went there and they just go into the automated system where you, the servers don't even do anything. You just order everything from the pad. Half the food came out wrong, either undercooked or overcooked. It was just a mess. I hated it. Outback Steakhouse. I went there a couple times and liked it. The last time I went there, they were terrible. I got a steak that was like a hockey puck, way overcooked. I said, this is overcooked. I want another steak. They brought me another overcooked steak. And I was like, I'm just not coming back here anymore. And that was the end of that. 
There's really nothing that should frighten you that much. The first crew who was working with uh, were a bunch of idiots, and now she's dead. <laughs> Damn. I guess I'll take the letter to her mother. Oh, God! Maybe you should have been a little bit more worried. Just saying. Yeah, we have to kill all these Draugr to continue the quest. Oh, what the fuck? Where'd you come from? What? Zoop! Spin slash. Spinning slash. And then the door opened. That was the last one, I guess. You can hear the dragon wall, but I don't think we can access it yet. A ring of necromancy. What the hell does that do? Whenever a creature you've reanimated takes damage, they explode for 50 points of frost damage and then die. So you know what this is? This is a whole set. Water walking, plus 10 enchanting. Yeah, I think each time we do another level of this excavation, you get another unique item. There you go. Oh, yeah? Wow. Wiley Coyote says that it's basically employment in America is so bad right now, in the United States, that is. Most places like that, like Applebee's or Outback, are now hiring from work release centers at prisons to fill staffing positions because no normal people want to work there anymore. Wow. Wow. Yeah, so you can hear the word wall. But the world wall is still buried in the dirt here. So we have to go to another ex level of excavation, and then the word wall will probably be freed up and we can do it. Okay. Can we get an on screen likes counter? You guys can see the likes, no? We're at 106. Thank you guys for allowing me to hit the goal. Thank you for everyone who liked the stream. We've done it. We hit the goal for today, and I appreciate that. You don't need an on screen like counter when it's right in front of your face. When you're watching the stream here on YouTube. Okay. And they knew. This away. I defeated the Draugr and located the missing miners. They're all dead again. I should have figured. Damn. Well, at least we can get back to work. But hazard pay keeps piling up. And this won't be getting any cheaper. I gotta spend another 3,000. Damn. I'm going to hire some mercenaries this time, too. Having some people around. To know how to fight. They're all gonna die, aren't sure. they? Well, <laughs> it'll set the miners at ease and hopefully keep them alive. But they won't be cheap either. It's going to hit 3,000 this time, I'm afraid. Crazy asshole. But I got the got money. I have so much shit I could sell at this point, too, to make more money. If we're I need going to. to be making this back 50 fold, partner. No, we're not. It's gonna be a bunch of junk. Watch. I'll go hire a new crew and some brawny types to keep them safe. Come back and check in on them. Nothing can stop us this time. TX Shooter says lemonade or grape juice. I like both. I'm going to make that clear. And I have drank both in my life uh, over time. But I would say if I had a choice between the two, I would probably choose lemonade. What is this building over here that I haven't discovered yet? Rolled of how oh, shit! Remember, they're immune now to my spells, so I can just go crazy and have to worry about hurting them. Definitely one of the advantages of doing all the books. Look at this arrow, yeah! Zoop! I love that animation. I love it. The stab and spin. I don't need that ore. I'm looking for gold ore, silver ore, or ebony ore. Okay, I'll grab a silver ore. That's what I'm looking for with these guys. Alright. Thank you for liking the stream, Juan. Appreciate that. Thank you everyone who liked the stream today. There's over 200 people on the stream. It would be great if everyone could like the stream, but, you know... 50% is a pretty great ratio for people liking the stream, so thank you guys. Oh, what is this? Roldoff's house? The fuck? He lives underground? Yeah, he does. What's this? Oh, wait. Reaver Marauder. 
Oh, those that's not Roldov. They're Reavers. Neither of you guys are named Roldov, right? <laughs> iron. I don't need iron. Gold, silver, ebony. That's what I'm looking for. Damn, so they ransacked the place. Look what they did. They like they tossed all the shit on the floor. They're a bunch of dicks. Ooh, plentiful healing. Take that. Tossed his books on the floor. We're a bunch of jerks. Why would you do that? Here's Roldov's journal. I don't know if I need to read this or not. It says, let's read through it quick. I've arrived at Solstein, moved into an old house in the hill. Whoever lived here before is long gone. I can see well out to the waters from my vantage here. I can hear all things behind and around. Dunmer bandits wander the woods at night. There's a calling from the depths, a rumble drone that sings to me at night. Started sleeping in the basement, keeping a knife near. The call is loudest down here. I'll be ready for whatever's coming. It's as if a great machine reverberates beneath me. I tire waiting for the caller underneath to emerge. I walked to town and bought some digging tools. A shovel, shovel, uh, pick. I started to break down the wall behind the bookshelf and dig down slow. Fire from the deep. Behind the bookshelf. Oh, shit. Guess we're gonna see what's down there, huh? Why not find ourselves an optional dungeon? So let's save. And then manual save. And we'll uh, split the part and then we'll do this. Cool.